Maybe the single biggest lyrical mistake I see in writers that come to me and developing writers is uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a legal term. Now, I don't know much about law except what I see on TV. I was in court once. I was <laughs> called to testify in a plagiarism case. That's true, actually. And I won't name the artist because too famous. But, but uh, I see a lot of t law TV shows or a number of them. And there's a phrase called assuming facts not in evidence. And that's what a lot of writers do. They make verses that make perfect sense to them, but don't make sense to the listener because we weren't there. And it doesn't and it doesn't make any sense to us. You know, it's um I have a sister, by the way, that teaches writing, not songwriting. She teaches actually memoir writing. She teaches at the University of New Mexico. And I was on the phone with her like a couple of days ago. And you know, this reminds me exactly of our phone conversation. You know what I mean? <laughs> don't you? You don't get it? Don't you get it? This is exactly like a phone conversation. <laughs> but you weren't there. And right. the listener wasn't there. So you can't put, you want to put images in your writing, but not stuff that's so personal that it's not explained. You have to take us by the hand from that fresh individual opening line that you have that got our attention and take us through the story to the relatable premise. And that's your job as a lyric writer.